punching technique. The other day, for the people that are here, I taught you guys how to punch like this. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to punch from the center. The vertical fist. So there's different ways to punch. This is a horizontal fist. This is a vertical fist. We're going to work on the vertical fist right now. So we're starting from the center right here. The difference with the vertical fist is that it's not coming from the, from the side of the chest. It's coming from the center of the chest. So you're almost like in a prayer position. But in this position, it's a good defensive position because everything comes off the center. If somebody tries to attack you, you could um, bring your arms up. And if somebody tries to throw a punch, you could come inside or you could come straight out to the center. So this is very important to have your hands here. If you drop your hands, that's when you leave everything open. So you don't want to drop your hands, you want your hands in the center. Because in my center, <coughs> you see, it's harder for them to punch my, my body too. And I got my face protected as well. So you come from the center, we're punching with these three knuckles right here. And we're going to keep this wrist straight. We're not going to bend it this way, because that's going to hurt you. And you're not going to bend it this way either. So you're not punching like this, and you're not punching like this. Your punch is straight, and you're having a straight ri wrist. These three knuckles right here, the, 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 the motion is kind of upward. You see my hand is kind of angled up. So it's not angling down, it's angled up. There's always a slight bend on the elbow. So when you're punching, there's a slight bend. This bend in the elbow protects your, your elbow from getting um, hyperextension. If you extend your elbow out too much and you keep punching the air, you can start getting elbow pains, right? That, that means that you're, you're hyperextending. You need to have that slight bend here. So every time I punch, I have a slight bend, okay? There's a slight bend. Okay, so it's coming from the center, and these are called chain punches, and they're coming over the top over the top of one fist over the other in a center line, okay? As you come out, it's going to breathe out. So you're breathing in at this moment, you're breathing in, and then you breathe out. You breathe in here, and then you breathe out. You breathe in, and then you breathe out. You want to get the, the deepest breath that you can, and you want to breathe from the stomach. You want your stomach to expand out when you breathe, and then you want to breathe out, and then at the final extension of that punch is when you have that final air out there. So your whole breath should be out when the fist at the, at the end. And also, you want to be relaxed right here. So I'm in a prayer position, I'm relaxed. As I breathe in, I'm relaxed. As I breathe out, I'm starting to clench, and then I don't finally make a final clench until at the very end. And when I make it at the very end, I'm going to clench hard. And I'm going to tighten up my fist, tighten up my arm. And then you get that flex muscle going. And that's when you get that, that strength there. But that's the only time you flex is when you make contact. After you make contact and you start to breathe in again, you relax again. And you bring it back. As you bring it back, the other hands are ready to come, come out. So you breathe, you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. So I want you to do multiple repetitions and get that, that flow with that breath going. I want to hear your breath coming out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Why don't you try it out? You can try it from the standing position or the sitting position, whatever is uh, most comfortable for you. And just keep working on the repetitions and I'm going to check your form. We're going to punch with a vertical fist now, so it's not a horizontal fist. It's going to be a vertical fist. This is a different type of punching method. <clears throat> yeah? As this fist is coming out, that rear hand is, is guarding. 
this is your guard right here, and then you replace the guard, and the other one come, becomes a fist. <clears throat> Try to coordinate the punches. It's kind of like a bicycle. When you're riding a bicycle, it's like this. So it's like one one is moving forward, one is moving back. It's in that that type of uh, coordination. Make sure you clench your fist with tucking your thumb in. Do not hold your thumb like this, or don't tuck the thumb in like that. You want to have a good fist, closing the fingers in, and then tucking the thumb like this. Extend out your elbow more. Richie's too bent like this. That's limiting his reach and then also it's not lining up the wrist properly. You need to come out here like this much and then the wrist will be lined up. It's not like this, but it's not like this either. It's like this, you want to take advantage of your reach. Let's keep going. Make that, that backhand right here. Paula's coming over the top, so it's not coming from under. It's coming from over, over the top. <coughs> Good, I want to um, 